Hi guys, welcome back to another video. We are in Kenya now, day three, I think. I've lost track because jet lag is insane. <laughs> A big thanks to Homoglow for sponsoring today's video. I wanted to just give you guys an update on what's been happening the last couple days and take you along today. Jet lag with little kids <laughs> this last couple days has reminded me why when we come, we come for a month. It's no joke. Solo, do you remember night one, we got here very late. They sleep. They just slept. Never a problem. That's Everyone not usually a problem. Everyone is ready for a flat place to lay down. Yeah. <laughs> it could be a flat piece of rock. And yes. They will play down. Yeah. We were so exhausted. Yeah. Um, because we traveled for like 32 hours. So we were up probably 40 hours. They're a little sleeping on the plane, but not enough. Yeah. Noel put a flower in my hair this morning. It's so cute. <laughs> um, and then night two, we put everybody to bed late, like 10, and didn't let them sleep during the day. And um, we lo and behold, two. they thought it was a nap. <laughs> they slept right away. Till like midnight, up all night. Actually that first day, the little three and I slept till noon, I think. And we had to wake up those little guys. And it was hard to wake them up. So they, the second night, it was like a nap when they went to bed, they woke up. They were wide awake, like ready to party. Peace was in her bed just singing, let it go, let it go. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, that was so hard. So you singing let it go. It was hard, it was rough. Two nights ago. And they really didn't sleep much of the day. So yesterday, we went to the pool for a long time because that was the plan to keep everybody wide awake since they'd been up all night. You know it's gonna be hard. And day, night three can be the worst. So we had everybody at the pool yesterday. It was so much fun. We were with cousins. My cousin Lydia was there with her kids, Lydia and Trey, um, which ma they match my kids. It's hard to tell the difference, like Talia here. <laughs> and um, my kids' cousins and my sister-in-law, we, we just had a great time at the pool, ate some good food there, swam and swam. It was, it's been very rainy and cold in Nairobi and it was sunny and gorgeous and warm and we enjoyed every second of it uh then we came home last night the boys got haircuts late at night we were so exhausted eli or eli fell asleep waiting for his haircut seth fell asleep while getting a haircut <laughs> and uh it was worth it they got home late though i don't know it was like i asked katie what time it was at one point i thought it was like midnight it was eight o'clock <laughs> in the evening so we went to bed last night not being sure what would happen. Passed out Benadryl, <laughs> all the little ones, the children's Benadryl. And we actually did pretty good last night. Most people slept. Oh Seth, I didn't see your haircut. Oh my goodness, Seth. You look so old. <laughs> we just woke him, it's 9.30. Cause we're going to church this morning. Destiny woke you up at 3 a.m. Yes. And uh, then been up since. you've been up since then. Yeah. Oh, it's just rough. Jet lag is no fun. It's no joke. Because you can sleep and then one little thing wakes you up and you're done. You're done. You're wide awake. Uh, that's why I took a Benadryl too because it helps you get back to sleep. Right. Seth, how do you feel this morning? You told me he's tired. Boy, he got a good haircut. Are you sleepy? Oh, I understand that feeling. <laughs> we got some mosquito bites, but. That was just the first night, and then we got nets. So everybody's got a good net now. Oh, you have a net now, right? Yeah, I had it since the second night, but it's still really bad. Did you get a mosquito in your net? Probably. Maybe. Oh, we're tired. We're tired people. How's everybody over here? I'm <laughs> great. We've been enjoying just a lot of time sitting around, talking with family. Looking at our great, beautiful view. Look how green it is. So green, so beautiful. We have a lovely apartment to stay in at King's Kids Village, um, or KKV. That's always our home base when we come. My grandparents started this children's home 20 years ago. In fact, they're celebrating their 20th anniversary while we're here. And they have always take in kids that um, other children's homes wouldn't take. They take sibling groups, they take kids with special needs, HIV positive kids, kids that other people w would be turning away. It's been a huge blessing in the city. I We love coming here. It's one of our favorite places on earth, for sure. Because we've traveled to Kenya a lot with our family, 
or a number of times anyway with our whole family. Um, a lot of things are very similar each time, the jet lag. Like the memories are coming back to me. Although last time we had a baby and I was pregnant and um, I remember Destiny was our baby I think and she was, she really had her hard time. This time it is a little better. Um, but some things are very different this trip. Like I think because we have so much responsibility at our home, so many animals and stuff, I, my, it's been harder for me to leave my mind, leave home. And I'm thinking about making, I'm, I'm just hoping that everything's going well for the people watching our animals, taking care of them. So far, we've heard from Bruce and Judy who are staying at our house and they said everything's going really well. They have Gable and all of the livestock animals, the cats, they're staying at the place. Um, and then our little dog, Nessa, she went to a friend's house. She has not done well. And she's been to that friend's house before. Uh, they have two little female dogs that are a lot like her. <laughs> And she's been with them before for a couple weeks when we were in Florida and she did great before so I didn't even think about doing a trial run. This time she has not done so great. I think all those girls are older, her and the other two girl dogs and boy they just, they're not putting up with each other very well. So another friend of mine has stepped in. Uh, to help with Nessa some, so it's just a little bit more, I'm thinking about it more. Uh, we just had so much going on before we left that a few things were left undone that you just wake up in the night and think, oh, I didn't do that. Um, one thing I did do very well before I left is I got Homoglow to come over. Homoglow is a five-star house cleaning service. I have used them before, I've talked about them before, I really like them. Um, it's very easy to get a cleaner to come to your house. I, I, It was literally two days before we left and I was scrambling. I knew I needed help. I could not get it all done on my own. And when someone's staying at your house, you really want it to look nice. <laughs> Sometimes, uh, the one thing I love about hiring a cleaner is they see things that I don't necessarily see that I become blind to. And so, I love having someone come over and clean once in a while. They are affordable home cleaning service. Two days before I needed someone, I was able to log onto the website, put in the time that I wanted, a time range that would work for me on that day right before we left. And I was able to get someone to come over. The lady that came over was just lovely. She did such a good job. My house smelled so good. One thing I did not worry about at all was how I was leaving the house for someone staying there. And it just reminded me that I need to do it more often. At our other house, we had a cleaner very regularly and I, I just loved it. When you're doing it regularly, it makes you clean up your whole house on a regular basis, pick it all up. They come in, they do the dirty work, they do the deep cleaning and it is so nice. It's, it's nice in spring if you just wanna refresh. It's nice if, like me, you're just overwhelmed with everything on your plate and you need one thing off of it. So I encourage you to check out Homoglow if you haven't already. It's a great way to support cleaners in your area. You can even sign up for their Forever Clean membership which saves you $30 an hour on future cleanings. You can go to homoglow.com slash tribe of many or scan the QR code and get your first three hours for just $19, which is a really good deal. So check that out. The link will be in the description box below. All right, it's getting wild in here. We gotta go to church. It's a mess, it's a crazy mess here going to church just like at home. Always. <laughs> this is my cousin Lydia, if you guys have not met her. she has six kids, one being a tiny newborn. Yeah. Are you ready? Oh my gosh, Seth, you look awesome with your new hair. Uh, he's, he's waking up now. <laughs> Belle, Luca, Judah, and Katie are going across town with two of my nieces, with three of my nieces, to one of their church. <laughs> That's just for young people, right? Because I tried to come and they wouldn't let me. Oh, three, yeah, three. I was trying to do the... <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're at church. This is Solo's mom. We call her Made, which is mom. The kids call her Nyanya. Her name is Rosa. Rosaita. <laughs> to the 
and that's what we vowed to do, that we'll bring them up in the fear and admonition of the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you so much for the families we come from. Thank you for giving us. Okay, we're back from church. I've taken two naps. I never take naps. I'm so tired. You can tell there's bags under my eyes. How about you? You were tired at church. She wasn't feeling it at church, but now she's got a second wind since we came home. Second wind. Did you like church? Yeah. Did you? So fun. Are you exhausted? No. <laughs> Are you tired? No. <laughs> we don't have to eat these things. Are you tired? Yes. <laughs> yes, she will admit it. <laughs> Uh, See, so the mom that's laying down. Are you tired? No. <laughs> Are you playing outside a lot, Seth? Yeah. Oh, it's so fun out there. That stroller is giving us a lot of entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't ram them into anything. <laughs> How's your string cheese? <laughs> So we're just taking a little walk around the campus here because I want to see the cows. They have milk cows now. This is the school. And lots of beautiful classrooms here. There are kids all around, but I won't show you their faces. Um, but there's a fun playground here where my kids keep coming out to play. So fun. That basketball court sees a lot of action, let me tell you. All grown. I think the kids have lost soccer. They've grown. The soccer field? Yeah. They must not be playing much <laughs> right now. Because at the time, this field was always full of kids playing soccer. Yeah. But that generation of kids are all grown, they're now young adults. One time we came, there was a goat out there keeping the grass short. <laughs> That's the soccer field. <laughs> so I heard it was behind the school, the cows. He, Trey got a Holstein. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I wonder if it's big, like a Holstein. No, there's two of them and a baby. You saw him already? Oh, no, I saw the first day. I was jet lagging. Jet lag everything. All right, we got helpers showing us around. There's some of the gardens. You can smell that. Well, I smell. Oh, there they are. Wow, they're beautiful. There's another. Oh, they got a fly problem like we do, too. Do you want to learn how to milk with me? Uh, <laughs> Trey said we can come at 6 a.m., 6 p.m., or noon. Oh, they have alpha alpha over there. Hey, girls. So they're new to cows here, and they're learning just like we are. It's fun. I love seeing so many people learning new skills that are, like, self-sustaining. Um, but they're milking already, so... They're ahead of us. Here's one of the babies. Hi, baby. They're a home for him. Oh, they're building a new home for him. Oh, is it a boy? Yeah. No, it's a girl. Oh, it's a girl. Hi. It's always good. Do you have a name for this one? Oh, you guys got a name, these guys. But the other ones got names. Oh, what are they? This one's this one is favorite, and the other one I got it. Favor, and we forgot the other one. <laughs> oh, they're so cute, the black and white. Everywhere we go, we admire the trees. Guava. There's a mango tree. And we, there's, there's avocados. It's like the land flowing with milk and honey. The avocado tree is falling over. It's so full of avocados. It is. Oh, <laughs> I saw an avocado on the ground, and Did they said the dogs said eat there's it. There's a beehive also. Oh, mm -hmm. you got honey? It's on the summer. Oh, okay, on the farm over there. I told Trey, man, you guys are rich. You got three to five dollar avocados just laying on the ground that the dogs eat. <laughs> Those things cost a pretty penny where I come from. Some chickens. Gideon's giving us a full tour. All the current livestock. I see an egg over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I made a big fruit salad. That they've demolished already. Full of papaya, pineapple, watermelon, apple. What else? Banana. Bananas are way sweeter and here. Mango juice. Mango. Oh, mango juice in there. <laughs> yeah. Yum. They didn't all like papaya. Some of them haven't had it before, or they don't remember having it. So they gotta get used to that one. It's about dusk now, isn't it beautiful? He's 
kids are just having so much fun. They run wild and free here, just like at home, and I, I love that about KKB. It's just a safe place for them to just run free and happy, and play with other kids. We're walking over to the playground. Every time I've laid down today, three times, I have fallen asleep. That is so unlike me. Not only is it jet lag, but I realized I was editing a video from a few days before we left, and I realized that last week was so intense. It was very hard, and I think we're, Solo and I are still recovering from that week. <laughs> this month will be good for us. A little rest. The kids are dealing with jet lag, but we're dealing with coming down off of a really hard couple weeks. <laughs> Ignore the screams of happiness, but we normally like to go um, right out to Nakuru, which is where some of our family live. But this time I think we're gonna travel less um, so that we don't go home too exhausted because that can happen too. Uh, our family's all over the country, so when you just keep traveling, it can really wear you out, especially when you're traveling with little kids. And uh, so we have a number of days here still, just recovering, resting, and I think it's exactly what we needed. Uh, he likes you. So tiny. <laughs> this is Malachi. He's one month old. Hi, baby. taking me out it's the next day he's taking me to get hair extensions because there's someone coming over to braid the girls hair yeah. before hopefully she can get five girls in before tomorrow the coast. <laughs> yeah in two tomorrow. days in two days but we're gonna days. do big chunky braids and then redo it before we go home mm -hmm. to the states yeah he's, he's good yeah this is some of the flooding that we keep finding all over the city yeah. thankfully it's not too much in the road right now yeah but it was it swept away a lot of a lot of people were displaced out of their homes and some of the flooding has fish in it even yeah, <laughs> it does. it's like yeah. rivers running down the street people are fishing in it <laughs> yeah. I keep finding fish yeah stuck in the mud you're like what's that <laughs> somebody's come and gotten dinner from that fish <laughs> Oh, and the kids do sell them. They do, wow. Yeah, some so the, some them. of the flooding obviously is atta attached to waterways yeah. that were there before yeah. <laughs> that had fish. But mostly it's pretty dried up. It hasn't been too bad. Yeah, it's now been a week. Since. Yeah, there were a lot of deaths in Kenya, weren't there? Yeah, and they're still finding some. So uh, that's a sad story. Lots of homes swept away. It's sad. <laughs> How am I gonna pick, Trey? We don't have these options at home. This is a lot of lies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. A lot of lies. <laughs> hey, this makes life convenient. We love it. <laughs> it's all over here too. I brought peace, by the way. Okay. Oh, we use this. I use this one at home a lot. That's hey, short, though. You found something familiar. Yeah, something familiar. But here, Noel uh, wants turquoise. Yeah. Oh, okay. sparkly pink. Oh, my, I'm glad I didn't bring the girls. <laughs> you should have. Uh, they would love it. It's just a month, you know? That's what Belle wants, blonde. <laughs> How long does How it How do I pick? Oh, my gosh. Long, long. long short. <laughs> short, long. We're going medium, maybe. Yeah, medium. Trey's over there getting distracted. <laughs> I don't know. What are you getting distracted with? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> oh. I will never guess it. The lies. Like He's so discovering good. the lies. Wow. <laughs> this place is cute. Yeah. Okay, we're going. We've come to a grocery store. Whoops. Where are you, Peace? Oh my hand. 
Oh my god. We're picking up a quick lunch. He told me there's something like ramen noodles that the kids would love. This is what this is what I was telling you. Oh, okay. You show me. Oh, look at a whole case of Red Bull. <laughs> so you guys have that problem too. <laughs> no Diet Coke though. Okay. No kombucha. No kombucha. No kombucha. Oh, if I found a kombucha, I'd be so no kombucha, excited. Kombucha is there. No. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We gotta. I gotta see that before I leave the country. Oh. That's Lao. Oh, nice. So it Chips. Like, Yum. Um, it's nice. It all looks so good. All that beans. How come our grocery store food like this doesn't look that good? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they have pre packed chicken and fish that? or this situation. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is Bye. basically ramen, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that coming. We got solo and Ugali and meat. Yeah. And there's this, I've never seen this, but they have this one. Mm. And they have this one, seated. Body. Yes. So which one do you want? Oh, I don't know. So we got a bunch of uh, ramen packets and a hot sauce. And we'll get a soy sauce. At home we have peanut butter and um, what else? Oh, brown sugar. They'll make their own. They'll make yeah, their own we'll sauce. Because my kids don't necessarily like those packets, but they make it really good ramen. That's what we have at home. You can tell. No, the next one. Yeah. This one? Yeah, but we it doesn't matter what's good. You, oh my, there are a lot of options of soy sauce. Yeah. Okay, here's what we got. He got some coffee. Mm -hmm. That's of coffee. <laughs> oh, peace. Wait, wait, wait. This way, this way. Let's go this way. This way. Good yeah. job. No plastic bags in Kenya. So if you don't bring your own bag, yeah, you carry your stuff. Okay, how, what was the total of that? 20.69. So about... Uh, divided by 120. About, about 120. About 20 bucks. Yeah, or less. Okay. okay, this is Ashley. She is... She braids... You braided up all the KKV girls, right? Yeah, yeah I did. So she's going to help us. This is a treat for me because usually I have to do it by myself. <laughs> We're starting with Noelle. And I let him do color. Noelle picked the green. She's going to have green hair. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I was hoping to get her hair done too. <laughs> Just kidding. So we're, we're, Belle and I are taking out yours is out. Yeah. You just had twists. Mm -hmm. And we're taking out Desi's. Tori's taking out her own. Yeah. So there's. Uh, you guys are going to Desi's. Can you help me? Yes. So that we have two days. So we'll see how much we can. If all five of them can get done in two days, but we'll do bigger, chunky braids that just need to last like three and a half weeks. Okay, even Seth knows how to unbraid. Seth, you're good. Wow. Mom, Mom, this is gold braids. Yes, you're doing purple. Guys, Lydia is the one who taught me how to do hair. Every time someone's like, how did you learn? I'm, I say, my white cousin taught me. <laughs> Uh, what? <laughs> White on the inside. White on the inside. On the she inside. was raised here. She, you've actually taught some Kenyan girls. You told me. Yeah. Once. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how's Malachi? He's doing today? okay. Oh, they big yawn. This morning. <laughs> we all fight to hold him. Yeah. He's not short of holders around here. It's true. Huh? Oh, that went fast. Mom, can you give me a pen? Mom, 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 this is just almost done and we just started. Yeah, I know. That's because Belle came to help. Who tagged me? Can you do me? Duck. <laughs> Duck. 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 <laughs> <laughs> <Ghost>. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> you can sell my nice smell. The old men are having a meeting. It's called a baraza. <laughs> this is Trey and Lydia's oldest, Benaya, and then JJ. Second oldest, Talia. Third oldest, JJ. Second oldest, JJ. Third oldest, Natalia. <laughs> and Lydia, Lydia's helping over here. 
They are cute. So she's starting them, you're finishing them? Oh my goodness, she's almost done. I should have timed that, that was amazing. <laughs> I haven't really shown my face today. So and I didn't sleep last night till like 3.30. Like, wide awake. I was. I told you yesterday. I was so tired. Wide awake. We're going to the mall down the road with Judah, Katie, and a couple kids. Uh, Luca and a Seth and Peace. No, Seth and Peace and Noel. It's a bigger party than I thought. <laughs> but uh, we want to get a couple local phone numbers to just make it easier to communicate when people uh, split. I realize now that a lot of kids are older, we're split a lot more than we used to, you know, so, but having the local number is not as expensive to just kind of use on your phone, and that's what we're going to do. There's a phone company there at the mall. I just love how it goes from cool in the morning to hot in the afternoon every single day. And then the side road, you see, that's your nursery. You can just come in and buy all sorts of trees. Katie, did you see that? What? This is a nursery. All right, Trey and Lydia brought us to their favorite Chinese restaurant. And I can see why, because of the whole playground. Destiny said, I haven't eaten outside for a long time. Like, yeah, we're coming out of winter. <laughs> Oh, we missed a trampoline. Is it cool, Desi? Yes. Ashley finished Hope's hair too already. She has purple braids. Do you love them? So cute. You've been here before? Yep. It's good food? I don't remember. Oh, you don't remember. <laughs> you can get up there. Take your shoes off. <laughs> yeah, you can go up there. The question is, are they going to eat at all? Yeah. <laughs> Trey said they don't want to eat usually. They just want to play. <laughs> the kids are scaring yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is Trey and little uh, Trey and Lydia's little one, Raphael. <laughs> He's pieces age. Oh, you fell through. And this little guy is their Ezra, and he and Seth look so much alike. We all struggle to tell them apart. Hi, JJ. <laughs> They even have little bikes to ride on the little sidewalks all over. It's so pretty here. Solo and the big kids came a couple years ago when they were here. It's beautiful. Totally worth the drive. I think we're gonna have a table of adults. <laughs> Did you show the playground? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's so I mean, fun. We came here with Trey and Lydia with, with the older kids mm -hmm. and their kids just it's like they own the place. Yeah. They just go straight to the <laughs> playground. And, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't remember. That baby is Malachi, if I didn't say his name. He's so sweet. He's so sweet. Just one month old. Malachi. 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 <laughs> okay, we're the whole crew here, but Trey's over there. Thank you. Did you get a baby? <laughs> Even Ashley came. Yeah. Oh, where's my mom? Why is that what they did? Because I'm thinking there's only one right here. No. I don't know. That's the entire problem. You guys like the food? That's a good job. And free toys, too. Yeah. <laughs> that is for the two young ones. Wow, thank you so much. This is for, this is for, for the pool. And Raphael. Yeah, toy for Trey. <laughs> um, 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 Ryan and Amani ate apples. Okay. Benaya built. Benaya built basketball buildings. <laughs> okay. No. Noelle's no. new nanny. Wait, Noelle's new nanny Nelly. Right? Yeah. No. No. Noelle. You nanny named Nelly. Oh yeah, Noelle's new nanny named Nelly. And then and, oh, wait, Kate, 
Dave held Hope high. And also, and Hope Tessa held took the Tesla to town. town. I saw Okay, the um, every evening. Wait, every evening. Elephants entertain Eli. Okay, it's the next day, and we're still braiding. Not me much. <laughs> I finish up some of them. But Lydia is actually teaching Ashley and I. Ghanaian lines, right? Yeah. I think I might have it, but I, I'm gonna have to practice it some. I think it looks so cute. A little bit, maybe a little bigger than that. Yeah. And it goes faster than box braids too. Yeah, that's good. So hopefully I've learned it. <laughs> it takes a village here. For <laughs> two days. Look at the mess, the hair mess. Five heads in two days, it's incredible. I can't even believe, she is so fast. Look at her, those hands go. She starts them, some of us come and finish. These few days of rest have been so wonderful for us, really helpful. So glad we just stayed here for a while to recover and that are so much of our family could be here, not everybody, but we have seen some, which is, really awesome. So when I keep saying we could never have done this trip this time without so much help from people in our lives. So from the people staying with our animals and taking care of our responsibilities there, helping out at church, my mom <laughs> helping us even get out the door, um, people helping us on this side, even in Chicago, friends helping us. We have so many people helping us. We can't always do everything alone. <laughs> if we're trying to do a lot of stuff, especially.